Hey guys, this is Smith from Wolf of All Streets and today I'm going to tell you about 8 secret Android tips I bet you didn't know about. Having said that, let's get started. To start with, we have a very cool trick from Google Chrome. However, it's not a trick, it's a game basically and you can play it offline. So make sure you turn off your Wi-Fi and the data settings, then you go to Chrome and it's obviously going to tell you that you're offline. So when you see a little dinosaur here, you just have to click the dinosaur and it will start running. So this is basically a game and uh, this is how you play it. So this farther the dinosaur goes, uh, the speed of the game increases eventually. And this is where you see your score game over so when you exit from Google Chrome or when you go online the high score will be wiped out so there is no point in saving the high score but this is how you play it it's a cool trick number two is a secret game from Android so to go to the game you need to go to the settings and when you go to the settings the last option you see is about device just click on about device and scroll down further you'll see software info when you go to software info you will see android version and you have to quickly tap on the android version for about five or six times so it will take you to uh, a screen where you will see a logo of your currently installed android version so mine is marshmallow so this is how it's, it looks like you click on it and it will take you to another logo and you just tap you, you just quickly click on this logo for about uh, 10 times and then tap hold of it just like this so it will take it to another game. This is uh, similar to the Flappy Bird game which a previous Android version has. However, they've just replaced that bird uh, into an Android. So just play this. It's very tricky. And this is how you play. So you do not have to get stuck between these two Android uh, bushes. And if you click again, you can start playing this game. It's a very cool game but it's very difficult as well. I haven't gone past score 1. So you try it out and update the scores in the comment below and let me know if you are able to score more than 10. A trick, it's not actually a trick, it's an application called as Kim Screen. This is how it looks like. Okay, so what it does is basically it activates your proximity sensor and when your phone's screen is turned off, like this, when you hover your hand on the screen, it will turn on the lights and you'll see the time so it's quite handy and it also allows you or rather gives you an option to uh, turn the screen light on for as long as you want this is where you can change the settings so if you want your phone's light to be on and you don't want it to go off you can change the settings from this app and your screen's light will be on for as long as you want it to okay so this is another one Okay, so trick number four is basically a trick related to Google Maps. Now, when you go to Google Maps, uh, you need data to search any of the locations. However, when you do not have data or you do not get network on your phone, you have an option to save uh, maps offline on your Google Maps. So this is where you go. You go to Google Maps, obviously, to start with. And you see these three lines, the options. Just click there. And the fourth option will be offline areas. Just go to offline areas. And uh, I've already added the map of Pune city, but just to give you an example, just click on this add button here to the bottom right corner. And uh, for example, I want to search, I want to save the map of Mumbai city. So this is Mumbai. Okay. You can search uh, any location from ar around the world. I'm in Pune right now, but let's say if I want to save the map of Mumbai city. So you just uh, go to Mumbai and uh, click on download. So what it will do is, it will just uh, download the map for you offline. So whenever you do not have network on your phone and if you want to use the map, you can come to this uh, setting and you can simply use the map. So another application or the trick is uh, called as fake GPS, wherein you can uh, fake about your location and you can fool your friends about uh, wherever you are so for example if you are in India and if you want to tell your friends that you are in US or maybe United Kingdom or any other location you want to be in you just simply download this app called as fake location fake GPS free okay and then you, there is a setting that you need to change so for that you have to go to settings and from settings you go to developer options now if you do not have this developer options available already I'll tell you as to how you can activate it 
for that you need to go to about device and from about device you go to software info and from software info you see this build number you have to uh, tap on this build number for about five or seven times and once you do that you will get a message that the developer options uh, setting has been activated so for me it already is activated but if you, if you don't have one you can just uh, go to the settings and do what I just said so from developer options you go to mock location app and when you click on mock location app you will see that option here fake GPS so here is the app you just click on it and for example I have to tell my friends that I am in London so I'll just go to London here this is the map for London if you see okay right here so this is the map for London basically and uh, let's say for example I am at Kennington Road alright Kennington Park Road so I'll just double tap on the road so here I go this is my new location and then I can use this location and share it on Facebook to fool my friends that I am in United Kingdom right now whereas I am in India obviously no one wants to lose their phone but in case you do uh, you just have to make sure that you have the particular settings in place uh, for you to track your device now for that you need to go to settings again from settings you go to security settings uh, which is uh, right here where did it go yeah lock screen and security you go to security and then you go to other security settings and from there you see this option which says device administrators now when you see device administrators just click on it and you need to have this Android device manager turned on now what it basically does is if you do not have phone uh, or if you have access to computer if you this particular phone is lost all you have to do is you have to go to Google okay and from Google you need to type Android device manager Android so I have this option already here Android device manager let's click on it and go to the Google website this is Android device manager Google you just click on it and then you had you need to log in through your credentials and when you do that see this is my name here Smith Sharma and my user ID password so when I put the password I'm just going to put the password now okay I've entered the password just now and I've clicked on sign in so see this is taking me to Android device manager and what this uh, page does is it shows me the location of my device so if you see here it says contacting your device so what this application is trying to do is it is trying to uh, trace the location of my cell phone so you can see here it says India and there you go it has given me the exact location of where I am it is Pune Maharashtra and blah 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 so what you can do is you can track your phone like this and you have another option as well to erase the data if you do not want the person who has your phone to uh, go through your data or misuse your data this is the option erase you can click erase I don't want to do it now because I have my phone already the other option is you can lock your device and the third option is you can ring your device so if you have if you have uh, lost your phone somewhere in your home or maybe in your car this option comes in handy you just have to click on ring and what it will do is it will ring your phone at the loudest of its voice and uh, you will be able to uh, get your phone easily okay so the next trick is about how you can boost the speed of your phone and the RAM of course so for that you need to go to settings to start with okay and from settings you go to developer options initially I told you about how we can activate this option if you don't have one okay so go to developer options and scroll down to the bottom of uh, this page you will see limit background process click on it you will get some options like standard limit no background process at most one process so you can choose from two processes or three processes at time so what this basically does is it allows your phone to use only maybe two or three processes at times in the background which gives more space for your RAM to run and this is how you can boost the speed of your phone and avoid uh, the freezing issues on the phone okay now this brings me to the last but definitely not the least in fact one of the best tricks I want to show you which is related to Facebook and its messenger so for that obviously you have to either go to Facebook or messenger so I will show you uh, the trick from Facebook you go to Facebook this is my Facebook page okay and now 
you go to messaging okay and from there for example I am sending a message to Ankit okay and what I do basically is I will go to the emoticons here right here okay and I will send him a basketball okay so I've sent him a basketball now you simply have to click on the basketball and what it will do is it will activate a game for you a hidden game so this is how you play it very uh, beautiful game basically I love it okay so what it will do is it will update my score and it will send it to Ankit so if I press the back button you see here I, don't, I hope you can see this okay well you cannot see it right now but then what it says is it uh, you've set a new high score of three points so obviously Ankit is gonna get this message and it will be like a challenge for Ankit to uh, put his high score and then beat me so this is a very beautiful game and this works with this football emoticon as well okay so let's let me show you okay I've sent him this football now all right so when I click on the football these are two I just have to send one right so if I click on the football it will keep, take me to another game like this right so these are the two games in the Facebook chat and uh, I hope you will enjoy playing these games okay so that was our video about eight secret Android tips and I hope you liked it if you did give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel this is me Smith and Ankit signing off see you in the next video So the most important trick and the best one from the lot is that when you press the right key on your phone and you press it for 4 continuous seconds, it will switch your phone off. Okay, that wasn't funny. <laughs>